in Indiana today. 45 degrees <laughs> on May 1st and rainy I want to go home and put pajamas on go on lady go go on not you though you stay you go okay <laughs> oh today wasn't a bad day it was quiet now that I say that tomorrow is gonna be crazy Or a cold, or I should have made a cup of coffee before I left. So I'm on my way home. Today's Monday, May 1st, and I'm frozen. I didn't really have much to say. I just wanted, to, I just wanted to talk with nothing to say. I wore new shoes today and I love them. They're just basic black and white vans, low tops, and they're just so classy and pretty and they look businessy kind of, but still comfortable. I like them. I got them from Kohl's. I get all my clothes from either Kohl's or Goodwill. It's pretty much it. Amazon every once in a while, but I don't like ordering clothes off of Amazon because they never fit. Two of the things that I got from Kohl's don't fit either. <laughs> so I got to return those at some point this week. I got a very cute pair of pants. They're like black and white checkered business pants. And I was so bummed when they didn't fit. They are too small. They like they fit, but they're just too tight. And then I got a bodysuit black um like ribbed bodysuit and it's too small like I couldn't even snap it you know and if there's something that you don't want to be too small it's a bodysuit because dang it'll rub you wrong in all the wrong places whoa <laughs> my little dream catcher that might be my father-in-law next to me. Sure looks like it. Nope. So tonight for dinner, I'm making shepherd's pie, which I've never made before. So I'm excited. I got all the stuff to make it on our grocery order Saturday. So. It's just mashed potatoes, ground sirloin, sharp, extra sharp cheddar cheese, and the recipe called for picante sauce. I wonder if I, I, I guess I just put that in the meat. I don't know. I'll have to look at the recipe again. But that sounds like a super good meal for today because it is so cold and almost wintry outside. So a good, hearty, warm meal sounds amazing. And I've talked for almost five minutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a break. I'm gonna um, make my way home. It's like, a, it's about like a 40 minute drive from my office home, which for some people is a lot. But when you live in rural Indiana, that's typical. So I'm gonna make this drive home and I will catch up with you guys this evening and let you know how our shepherd's pie turns out. Talk to you soon. Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday morning. I think it's almost 5.30. I got up at 4.30. Not that I needed to, but I just couldn't sleep. And I got the kitchen cleaned, and I got some coffee going upstairs, and then I thought I'd do a couple miles on the treadmill before I go get in the shower. So it's a great start to my Tuesday morning. I'm feeling good. I'm already feeling productive. 
Hopefully I can keep it going. I'll check in with you guys later. You guys, it's been a day. It's been a day. I'm grumpy right now and I'm not ashamed to admit that. But I won't let it last too long. <laughs> because I am gonna go to the Dollar Tree and decompress because there's a couple things that I wanna get. I saw that they have, um, they call them spa headbands. There's, they're like those plushy headbands that you wear when you wash your face and stuff and I love those and the one that I have currently um, is not my favorite because it's too puffy like it gets in the way so I'm going to decompress by walking through the Dollar Tree and just seeing what they have and taking my mind off of work and transforming from work Brittany to home Brittany which is what I, I, it's a, it's a process that I go through every day. And I think that people that work in high stress, highly emotional fields will understand this. Um, I go through emotions <laughs> at my job. Um, maybe not in the way that others do, but it's so stressful and it's, it's almost just constant bad news and work build up um sometimes you get good news and you get to celebrate that but when you work in the field that i do those times are few and far between i will be honest and i work well under stress but after a while it takes a toll on me <laughs> and today was just one of those days you know i'm allowed to feel what i feel even though I'm still consistently working working on my positive outlook that I learned from my friends here on YouTube, you, you know, I, I have to um, go through the motions, go through the emotions, and just find a way to manage them. And today, we are doing that by retail therapy at the Dollar General <laughs> or Dollar Tree. I do love a Dollar General though. I live in the country and that's all we have around our Dollar Generals. Luckily the one that we have close to our house is a really good Dollar General. It has produce and stuff. Um, so that's good. That's something to be thankful for. Add that to my gratitude mental journal. So let's go in here and see what they got going on. Well, I didn't find it really anything that I went in there for. 
but I did buy $28 worth of stuff. So I really like gummies. They're my favorite snack. And these sour picks from Haribo are so good. Because I like, ooh, that one was really sour. I like sour candy, but I do not like the candy with the sour powdery sugar on the outside because it hurts your mouth. These don't have that, but they are sour. And they're shaped like little shoes. I was looking for... I was looking for um, the cherries, the gummy cherries, because they're normally my favorite, but they didn't have them. So I got these, and I'm pleasantly surprised. I was going to do a little, oh my gosh, these are kind of sour. <laughs> Normally sour stuff doesn't bother me, but these are sour. <laughs> um, I was going to do a little Dollar Tree haul when I got back in the van. Then I realized <laughs> I was running late because the boys have wrestling practice at 5.30 and it's five o'clock now <laughs> and it takes me almost 40 minutes to get home. I'm trying to open my drink. I'll have to wait till I get to a stop. But I found some cute things. I filmed a little bit while I was in there, but not much because I got overstimulated. <laughs> that happens pretty easily. There's too many people. Too much stuff to look at. I did get three gardening tools that felt really sturdy. I was surprised. I got Two different kinds of hand shovels. Duh, it's a hand shovel. I mean a little shovel. A small, like a small narrow one and then like a, a wider one. And then I also got one of those things. I don't know what it's called. It's like a claw. Where you claw up the ground and you know get all the weeds and stuff out because I have three little galvanized flower bed things in my front yard that I had a little garden in last year. It didn't do so well because I don't think that there's enough space in them for a real garden. <laughs> and I planted too much stuff. But this year I'm gonna, I'm only planting wildflowers in them for the bees. I got a call coming in. It feels so good to be in my jammies. <laughs> It was so cold at that ball game. It was so cold and rainy. I got my jammies on. Cozy. Britt made chicken nuggets in the air fryer. Looks like I get leftovers. That's what is my tummy. Yeah, you had some chicken nuggies. Yeah. Sissy's got her flashlight. She's getting ready to go to night. I'm gonna lay down and yeah, I'm gonna lay down and edit this vlog. <laughs> I trimmed my own bangs this morning. <laughs> they need a wash. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna lay down, edit this vlog, get it uploaded for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you next time. Bye.